<laughs> Hurry up, Daddy, let's go! <laughs> we'll have more fun on our picnic than Mummy and Poppy will shopping. <laughs> Hold tight, girls! What's that noise? Thunder? No, it's the car. Uh-oh. Well, we can't drive to the countryside in a broken car. I'll have to take it to Boris so he can fix it. Oh, does that mean no picnic? Oh, I'm afraid so, girls. <gasps> Look! Tumble pilot play! <laughs> what a stroke of luck! <laughs> hey! Hey, down here! <laughs> Hello! Yeah. <laughs> No problem. I'll keep an eye on Miffy and Grunty till you get back. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, bye, girls. Uh, I'll be as fast as I can. Bye, Daddy. Bye-bye. <laughs> I was looking forward to the picnic. Don't be sad, Miffy. We don't need a car to go on a picnic trip. <gasps> you mean we can go in your aeroplane? <gasps> it's not big enough for all of us. But I've got something in my plane that might help. Come on. These boxes aren't very heavy, Uncle Pilot. What's inside? Take a look and see. Hmm. Oh, more boxes. How are all these boxes going to help us go on a picnic trip? <laughs> You'll see. Now, I need a chair and a big wooden spoon. Oh, coming right up. Ah. Oh, I hope this one's big enough. Oh, it's a plane! How clever! <laughs> ah, excellent! Just what I asked for. Now, uh, put the chair there. <sighs> so, who's coming for a trip? My real plane isn't big enough for all of us, so we'll take my imaginary plane instead. Yay! <laughs> We're going in a plane after all. Hooray! I can't wait to take off. <laughs> Stop! We can't take off yet. We nearly left the picnic behind. Now, is everyone ready to go? Ready! Seatbelts on, girls. I want to hear them click. Click! Engines on. Uh, oh, that's funny. I can't hear them. Brum, 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 brum. <laughs> this is your pilot speaking. We're moving down the runway. Ready for takeoff? Up, up, and away! We're flying! We're flying! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> smooth takeoff, girls. But oh no! There's a storm ahead. Oh, no! Hold tight. Whoa! Oh, no! <laughs> oh, we made it. We're now flying above the clouds. Uncle Pilot, you should be flying the plane. Well, that's the best thing about imaginary planes. They're really easy to fly. Who wants to go? Me. Oh, unless you want to go, Grunty. You go first. I'm enjoying the view. All right, then. You can fly on the way home. Uh, uh, back in a moment. Keep her steady. I will. Wee! <laughs> Hold on tight, Bronte. Wee! <laughs> Wee! Don't turn too fast. We'll lose our lunch. Sorry, Grunty. Now look over here. <gasps> You're headed out to sea. Oh, look at the sea. It's so big. I'm hungry. Can we land soon? Find us a nice island for our picnic, Pilot Miffy. Uh, that one. Sofa Island. I'm taking us down. Whoa! Whoa! Bump, bump, bump. Bump, 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 bump. 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 <sighs> there. Nice landing, Miffy. Now, let's eat. Hmm, Sofa Island is very comfy. Let's have our picnic now. Yummy! Ha <laughs> ha! Not so fast! <gasps> A pirate! I be the dreaded Uncle Pirate! 
come to capture your picnic treasure. <gasps> Run! This way! Arr, oh, arr. <laughs> Hold on! Oh. Look at me! <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> I'm back. The car's fixed and we're good to Keep go. Keep away from our picnic. What on earth is going on? Arr. It was Uncle Pirate. I mean, he, Uncle he, Pilot. He, he built us a plane. And he flew to Super Island for our picnic. But we were attacked by pirates. Oh, I've only one thing to say to that. Beware of Pirate <laughs> Daddy! <laughs> Faster, Pirate Daddy! They be getting away! <laughs> Shiver me timbers! <laughs> there. Good morning, Miffy. That's a pretty picture. Thank you. I'm making a birthday card. It's Mummy's birthday today. Oh, lovely. Are you having a party? Shh. <laughs> it's a secret. It's going to be a surprise party. How exciting. I won't tell anyone. <laughs> Look, Daddy. That's a nice card, Miffy. But remember, don't give it to Mummy before the party. We're pretending we've forgotten all about her birthday. <laughs> yes. Now, do you remember what I need you to do? Mm-hmm. Keep Mummy out of the way while you get everything ready for the party at Aunt Alice's house. Well, not just me. Aunt Alice is making decorations. Poppy is sending Grunty over with a cake. Ooh, yummy. Poppy makes good cakes. <laughs> we should be ready by lunchtime. Do you think you can keep Mummy busy until then? Easy peasy. And I promise I won't do anything to spoil the surprise. Anything? What about that card? Oops. Keeping things secret is going to be harder than I thought. Right, I've got to head into town to pick up Mummy's present. Boris said he'd get me some wrapping paper and... Shh! Oh. Mummy's coming. Good morning. Good morning, Mummy. Oh, uh, morning, dear. Um, did you want to say anything else to me? You do remember what day it is today? Oh, yes, of course. It's a very special day. <gasps> yes, it's the day that Boris washes my car. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm driving over to his workshop now. Bye. Honestly. Would you like to go for a walk, Mummy? What a nice idea. I know. Let's go to see Aunt Alice. She won't have forgotten what day it is. Uh, we can't. It might rain. Or get dark. What are you talking about? It's a lovely sunny day. Come on. Uh, um, wait. I've got a better idea. Can we go to the farm? The farm? Yes. The farmer said yesterday that his chicks were about to hatch. Can we see them, Mummy? Please? Mm, that does sound nice. All right, then. The farm it is. Phew. Oh. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Miffy. I've just been to the shop to get your dad this wrapping paper. Boris! Boris, aren't you supposed to be in your workshop? Uh, am I? I mean, uh, yes, I am, because... Because it's car wash day. The day you wash Daddy's car. Oh, yes, of course. That's why I went to the shop to get this... Uh, colourful cleaning cloth. Better go and get polishing. Bye! <laughs> Funny old Boris. That cloth looked more like paper to me. Come on, Mummy. Let's go and see the chicks now. <laughs> Hungry little things, aren't they? Look how fluffy they are, <laughs> Mummy. Oh, thank you. Here, chick chicks. <laughs> go huh? round. Oh. <laughs> there you go. Hello, Grunty. Oh, hello, Grunty. Where are you going with that? Uh, I was, um, taking it for a walk. You're taking the cake for a walk? Yeah. Cakes love fresh 
Share. Bye then. Bye, Grunty. How very odd. Well, the chicks have had their lunch, so now I'm off for mine. Bye. Bye. Oh, I'm getting hungry too. We best get home. Wait, if it's lunchtime, we have to go to Aunt Alice's house. Come on. Oh, Miffy, I can't take any more strange things today. Daddy and his car wash day, Grunty taking a cake for a walk, and you telling me we can't go to Aunt Alice's house, and now telling me we have to. Oh. And not one person has remembered that it's my birthday today. Oh, it's your birthday? Happy birthday, Mummy. Oh, thank you, Miffy. That does make me feel better. All right, if you want to go to Aunt Alice's, let's go. Whew. What's Daddy's car doing here? Um, What's the front door doing open? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it so dark in here? Surprise! Surprise! Oh, happy birthday! Yeah! <laughs> Thank you! Come on, friends, you! Here we are. Oh, what an amazing surprise! I really thought you'd all forgotten. <laughs> We'd never forget your birthday, Mummy. I oh, know, but I did forget your card. You mean this card? <laughs> Good job I didn't forget. Thank you, Daddy. Here, happy birthday, Mummy. Thank you. That's lovely, Miffy. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to get to Grandma and Grandpa's house, Daddy. Are you sure you'll be all right without Mummy and me there? I'll be fine. I always have fun with Grandma and Grandpa. <gasps> we're here! We're here! <gasps> Grandpa! Hello, Miffy. <laughs> oh, mind my eggs. Hello, Dad. What are you up to? Well, I was going to plant these eggs in the garden. I'm hoping to grow a chicken. <laughs> Grandpa, you don't plant eggs. You eat them. Oh, is that so? Oh, well, in that case, I'd better put them back in the fridge. Come on, then. <laughs> Honestly, your grandpa's stories get sillier and sillier. Grandma! Miffy, my dear. <sighs> Hello, son. Hello, Mum. <clears throat> I can't stop, sorry. Uh, I'll pick you up tomorrow, Miffy. Bye, Daddy. Bye. Have a nice time at the theatre. I'll go and get dinner ready. Right, let's pop this in the spare room. Oh, this is heavy. What have you got in there? The kitchen sink? No. <gasps> Careful, Grandpa. Oh, well caught, Miffy. Hey, I wouldn't want to break that. It belonged to a Chinese emperor. It's over a thousand years old. Wow. A thousand years old? Yes. Don't you listen to him. He's got more stories than a library. <laughs> oh, here we are. <sighs> you know, this was in my bedroom when I was a little bunny. Wow! It must be very old then. <laughs> oh, you cheeky bunny. It is older than me, though. So old, in fact. I used to think it might be haunted. <gasps> you mean a ghost might live inside? What? Oh, oh, no, Miffy, no. I was only joking. There aren't ghosts in there. No, no, there's no such thing. <clears throat> Hello, Mr. Ghosty. Come out wherever you are. <laughs> yeah, see, no ghosts. Phew. Can you come and help me lay the table, love? Oh, uh, be right there. Pop your things in the wardrobe and then it'll be time for dinner. Mm, okay. <gasps> Aren't you going to unpack, Miffy? Um, I don't think I want to. But your grandpa's right, Miffy. There's no such thing as ghosts. The wardrobe's empty. But the ghost might be hiding. Miffy! Dinner's ready. Coming! Hmm. 
<clears throat> oh, that was delicious, Grandma. Thank you. Yummy. Thanks, Grandma. You're welcome. Gosh, is that the time? You'd better get ready for bed, Miffy. Um, OK. Will you come with me, Grandma? You don't need me, Miffy. You're big enough to go on your own. Please, Grandma. <laughs> All right, then. Thanks. <sighs> Are you feeling all right, Miffy? I'm fine. Mm. Grandma, can I sleep in your bedroom tonight? Don't be silly, Miffy. You've got a bedroom all to yourself. Mm. What's up, Miffy Bun? Well, um... Grandpa said there might be a ghost living in the wardrobe. Did he now? Honestly, your grandpa and his stories. You know there's no such thing as ghosts, Miffy. Yes, but what if there is? There isn't. I promise. You know, I think it's time we teach grandpa a lesson about his tall tales. Will you help me? OK. Then here's what we'll do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Grandpa, are you going to kiss Miffy goodnight? Coming! <laughs> uh, <clears throat> oh, where is she? Your ghost story scared her so much, she's hiding under the covers. Oh dear, but I was only teasing. I told you, Miffy, there's no such thing as ghosts. <laughs> Ah! Oh, 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 a ghost! A, a ghost! Woo! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's only me, Grandpa. There's no such thing as ghosts, remember? <laughs> <laughs> Fooled you! <laughs> well, I suppose that serves me right for telling silly stories. Exactly! So, no more stories, then? Well, maybe just one. Grandpa? Yeah, from in here. A nice bedtime story. Oh! Hooray! Now, what sort of story would you like, Miffy? I don't mind. As long as there are no ghosts in it. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a big red apple in the green grass on the ground. Oh, I love this one. The apple wept because he was just an apple, rosy and round. 